Um, do we really, Randy? Randy, I don't think. Well, I guess if we pull next. Up, I need to Monday, I, oh, oh, it's uh, hey, I would uh, 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 me and my friends, Randy, Stephanie, David Attenborough, and Greguli need to hoard the pulp. Um, we're all here to purchase some schizophrenia medication. Okay, well, I've have, I have two pulp. Why do you have a dinosaur face? Ah! Sir, I need you to calm no, down. Okay, fine. there's people in here. Okay, picture's like a library, but it's less important. So okay, basically, I have to, I have to, your mom's house? I see two problems. First no, of all, you your friends need to be here with you, because I don't see anyone with you. Well, we have Randy. I'm Randy. We have Stefan. I'm Stefan. I'm I thought you said Stephanie. Shut up. I changed my name. Okay. Uh, then we have... Frick. Uh... Greg Gooley needs to hoard the pulp. And Greg Gooley needs to hoard the pulp. And that's all. That's all there was. There was no more than that. Okay, um, well, okay. How about next time you bring your friends here and then we can get you started? But they're all right here. Just uh, give me the medication. Okay, okay. Where, give me the where medication. Are they? Where are they? They're right behind me. Next to that floating elephant. Oh, do you have a doctor prescription? Yes, from Dr. Bob, oh. right there. Can I can I see the papers? Here you go. Sir, That that's a banana. No, it's not. Not according to Randy. Right, Randy? It's a paper. Yeah, he said it's a paper. Okay, well, I feel like you need this medication. Give me the medication. I can't give it to you until a doctor prescribes it. Look at my gun. Uh, I have a gun. Oh, that that's beautiful. Okay. I have a gun. That, that, give me the nice. medication. Put, put give me the gun. Put your tomato. Give down. me the medication put, put the gun. Down. Give okay. me the medication. Put that back gun. in the produce aisle. Okay, we fine. Have at CBS. Now this this is a gun. Oh, okay. Give me your medication, you gun. Got me. Give me your medication. Okay, I need you to put that down. But put it back where you found it. Okay, okay good boy. Okay, good. Okay. Medication gun. Ah, you got me. Got give me the medication. I'll give you the medication. Yeah. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks. This is probably medication. There are five salt packets. I heard that, and I walk away. True. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Trump's podcast. <laughs> We're done. That's it. That's, That's it. The entire thing. We're good. Good job, Randy. Welcome back to the Lemon Drops podcast. Nip pop. The single. W- w- quirkiest podcast like on the planet. Okay. I was gonna say wackiest, by the way. I like wacky better. Why do you say wacky? Because we're quirky like that. <laughs> I'm like an ass. I'm like an ass. I think I left my conscience on your doorstep. Doorstep. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I. St- okay. So I went. So today, I woke up, went to work like a boss. You know how I do that sometimes? You work till 8 30. Mm, yes. 8.30. I have schoolwork to attend. Stop doing that. I'm st- I stopped. Call I have schoolwork to attend to, so I'm pretty much only able to work that much. Kind of sad, because I have things to do, places to be, money to buy. That's what I said. I buy money. At CVS, they print it out. Really? Yep. Mm. Wait, what? No, no, why? Because they give you free napkins. I go to Taco Bell and sell the napkins for 10 cents. <laughs> 10 cents for 100. Oh, oh okay. Um... And then, it's free money. I Think about it. It's okay. Free money. So like three o'clock today, I t- I was like tired, really tired, and so I took a nap. I also took a nap. I took a nap, and I was Me like, too. bro, I woke up from this nap, and I felt so good. I just felt therapeutic. I just felt like I just felt like in a state of zen. And so I got in my car and I ran it off the road. No, that is wonderful. No, I I went. I got my got my car. I went to the bank. Went to I went to the store. Bought some chocolate protein chocolate milk protein milk chocolate and um uh a patreon patreon view or patreon viewers would actually know because there's video patreon.com so in a podcast um and then i went to th- the gas station super cool also on my way to the bank i <laughs> i am uh got st- what are you doing <laughs> See, for for the patreon listeners they know but for the audio listeners He's just looking at me like forlornly. He's looking like just sad. He's just 
wiping tears out of his eyes. No, but on, on my way, I was going through Lagrange, and then so a, how does it make you feel? A Camaro ZL1 pulled out behind me. It was a really nice white convertible one, and then it just started doing like you know the wiggle thing when you're like waiting on someone in traffic. You do the wiggle, 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 wiggle. You know, right? And so he was doing that behind me, and then I started joining him, and we were just like vibing through town, just like we, 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 and it was really cool. And then we turned our separate ways, and I cried. I'm sorry. How does that make you feel? Like a freaking boss. I see. Heck yeah. <laughs> Don't say heck. It's not cool. As good as it's really cool. I'm kidding. No. But then, um, also, but skipping my story. Sunday, I was on my way home from church, and there was a there was a there was a Chevy behind me. No, in front of me. And and I just started doing like yeah. And it was, I was just driving slow, so I was just doing the wiggle thing. You know, I was like, and um. <laughs> And then he started doing, and he in front of me started doing it, and we did that for like a solid, like just five minutes. We were just driving, <laughs> we were just driving down the road, and rear, rear, rear. And then he started passing vehicles at high speeds, and I did not join him. But when I passed the vehicles going regular speeds, I caught up to him. It was great. It was a fun time. <laughs> Teacher, stop! What are you doing? He's getting into my mind. <laughs> ah. It's therapeutic. So I was being a therapist. <laughs> oh. That's true. No, but like, dude, the vibe was just super chill, bro. In my car, just listening to music. Just, I, just it was actually a <laughs> super big vibe my way here. Ooh, I was eating my, shifting through the gears. I was bro. eating my Mike and Ike's. Your mic? Uh, my mic and your microphone. My Mike and Ike. Who's Ike? He's my. Why guy. is he in Ike? Well, no, it's Mike and Ike, not Mike and Ike. Well, you said Mike and Ike. Well, it's Mike and Ike. So it's like an in like a. And Ike. Mike and Ike. And Ike. And Ike. What's And Ike? And Ike. And Ike. It's Mike and Ike. Mike and Dyke. Who's Dude, Mike? Have you heard of Suds and Duds? No. The car wash? Nope. Like Mike and Dyke. Mm, Mike? Either way, I was eating and Dyke on my way here. Oh. And I was driving with my knees. And it was, oh, so I do it was, that. It was a vibe, dude. I was like. I have figured out that if you're driving with me, you are going to be the safest if I have no hands on the wheel. Why? Because that means I'm not trying to go fast, do anything stupid. That's not true. If I'm driving with one hand, that's that's basically normal. I can still do a lot. If I'm driving with two hands, you better get out. When I drive with two hands, I'm normally going triple digits in my speedometer. I don't go triple digits anymore because I promised someone I wouldn't. Simp. <laughs> Simp for Jesus because I don't like breaking the law. That's I don't like I don't like I don't like doing it. But uh, I don't. Uh, 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 I don't like doing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I only okay. actually. I only do this on the autobahn. I've never done it not on the regular road before. So that's only on the autobahn. What's an autobahn? The German autobahn. There's no speed limit. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's where that happens. That's really cool. He casually takes his car there. Yeah, I just fly it over in my airplane. <laughs> For real, for real, ironic. In my Cessna, <laughs> just to attach it to the bottom. Just like. <laughs> You want the uh, dude? Get that thing, Gouda? From a um, uh, Despicable Me, like the giant magnet. Oh yeah, that would destroy your car. No, if you don't, know, you just go right over it, so it only goes like an inch. Okay. <laughs> I think today, I think you're onto something. Just, you can go on Shark Tank and like just put that out there. Ow. TJ hit himself. What a fleeping loser. Trying to make wind because the car is flying. <laughs> That's beautiful, Katie. That's beautiful. I know. Um, what did you do this week? No, what did you do last week? Oh, I have more to talk about. I so let's say I was at the sold out convention. I was convention. too. It's not convention. What is it? Just sold out youth conference. Conference. Sold out youth conference. Pretty good. Amazing. Should go next year when it comes to Apple. It's like April. What is it? Twenty fourth. Uh, he said it was like April 15, 16, I think. Okay. Um, I could check actually. I have to sneeze. A two. A two. Um. And I was on my way home. It was pretty late. It was oh, Friday April night. April 18 and 19, I think. I was April 19 and 20. I was going. <laughs> I, um, so I was on my way home from that Friday night. What it was time? Pretty was late. It? it was 11. Current the time that this was happening, it was 11, 25. Exactly. So how does that make you feel? Like really amazing. So late. Why are we coming home so late? Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> Were you drunk? Yes. I think we should talk about this on our new podcast. Let Why? me drop the philanthropy. Racist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, okay. Uh, and I was going home, and I got, went through town. There's literally no one in town. What town was it? Lagrange. Okay. And I was leaving know. town to go to my house. What my house is like, no clue. Um, 
and I was leaving town. What road was it? Shut up! I'm trying to make people know that the thing. I don't know the road. Which one? Wait, were you going back roads? It's 20. There you go. Yeah. And now they know where I live because I live directly on 20. You no, know, and I it's like, it's like two miles off, off, off on the other side of town, and then I turn. And so I was going through there, and the there's a pretty big hill, and at the top of the hill it turns to 55. And so I put my car in fourth gear. I was chilling, slowly climbing. And by the time I got up there, I was going about 55. I got to the speed limit sign, I was going about 55. And then me and my monkey brain was like, ooh, turbo kicking? Ooh, turbo kicking? Yum, 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 yum. Wee. And I kept on going. I did not stop <laughs> accelerating. And then I eventually kept on going. And then I like, okay, I gotta slow down because I had to make my turn. So I'm gonna start slowing down. And I seen a car. And normally when I see cars, that are close to me, that are gonna pass me, I slow down. But I didn't, cause I'm like monkey brain, you know? Oh, ma, 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 ma. Mommy, ma, 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 ma. Mommy, and so I continue going, and then I start slowing down, and then I just start going, and then this guy passes me, and then I I look back at him, and then he does a U-turn, and I'm like, oh no. Oh no, ah. what have I done? And it was like a hu- horrendously fast U-turn too. He practically drifted. I was like, oh. Doggone. And so I didn't even try. I just, I, I didn't try. I wasn't going to try. But mm-hmm. I I just immediately uh. just put my car into neutral and I just drifted over. And I I just, I killed so much. No, okay. I, <laughs> I just pulled over. I'm like, I'm not even going to try. Like this. Man. Did you pull up before the sights were even on? Uh, no. I waited till the sights were on just to make sure. Did the U turn and then passes you? <laughs> that was funny. No, I didn't. I should have. I think it would have been funnier, but I did not. And just so people know, this was a giant semi, not a cop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo. And then, and then he came up to me. He was like, going a little bit fast there, huh? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, probably above 80. Like, I don't know. He's like, catch you going 79. And I'm like, oh, no. Mama me. Uh, you, but you know me. But you know I'm me. Just, I'm just such a good Was it the cop that stopped you from no. reading the head? It's not. Sadly. That would have been cool. He's a nice cop, so he wouldn't like, give me a freaking ticket. <laughs> I just because I sped and you caught me doesn't mean you should give me a ticket. <laughs> uh, the average male mind. Ah, uh, the average monkey brain. Um, did you blame them? Did you say I'm like, hey, dude, I wasn't even driving, dude. It's my dude. I have schizophrenia. The guy. Dude, I have schizophrenia. I wasn't even driving. <laughs> I wasn't even driving, dude. Sir, uh, get out the car. <laughs> I was told I should. Dri- I should. Uh, the voice is in my head, officer. <laughs> and so he's like, oh, and then he went back, wrote me a ticket, and gave it to me. I'm like, ah, crap. And I said. Oh, are your parents gonna take your tuner? Tuner? Is that what you have up there? No. Do you have thing in the corner? What is that then? It's a gauge cluster. It just tells me things. Oh, it's not a tuner? That's lame. I'm getting a tuner, but those are like a thousand dollars. Why would they take my tuner first off? Do you know what a tuner does? It, it makes your engine go more efficiently so you can go faster. It makes it, it run at the high. Uh, the yeah, and you take like it away it. and it doesn't work anymore. Exactly. No. I don't have one, so no. I that's what it was. Okay. That just tells me things. Like, what's my turbo doing? It's nothing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That would make more sense. <laughs> that would make more sense. But th- <laughs> okay. Okay. Never mind. Genius minds here on the Lemma Drops podcast. Um. So, Nick's is the first one of the friends and the cousins. And I'm you freaking proud of it. it. I'm Hell freaking no. proud of it. Chandler should have. He just like, oh no, just because you're going 85 and a 55 means you should get a verbal warning. Frick you. That's what makes me mad. No, no why? Because he was in a Pontiac and you're in a WRX. Cool freaking WRX, dude. Exactly. A lit WRX. 17. And I would do it again. Over, going 70. I would do it again. Not speed, but I would drive a WRX again. <laughs> That's exactly why he gave you a ticket. Dang it. But I was like super nice. Dude. I was like, bro. But was he super? Was he nice? He's pretty nice. He's like, yeah, dude. It's like this is how teenage it's people like young guys like you get hurt. So like, here I'm just gonna write your ticket. It was super nice. But I'm so sad. I would ah. do because now every ticket you're gonna get after that is gonna be a ticket. Or now every time you get pulled over, it's probably gonna be a ticket. Yeah, Grace has gotten nine verbal warnings. Bruh, nine of them. What car does she drive? I don't remember. Well, the thing about verbal warnings is that that means the cop is never going to know. That's it, yeah. No, nothing's on your record. No, nothing. That's that, bull crap. Exactly. And now my insurance goes up. My insurance goes up. That's about all that happens. <laughs> That's about- if I would have been going six miles faster, I would have been caught for reckless driving. 
That would have been bad. Yeah, you, that ticket would probably be a lot more. Chandler should have been caught for reckless driving. He was going 60. Except, uh, okay, so I was talking with Chandler a little bit. He says he he was going 85. He, he doesn't think the cop knew that. He doesn't think the cop had a radar, his radar on. And that he just saw that he was going, like, I mean. I'm going to sue him. So I don't think the cop knew he was also, going that fast. Like, why not? Because, like, every, like, the cop cars, how it works is, like, if you pass them, like, when you, whenever, whenever a car passes them, it'll tell you, it'll tell you what speed limit they're going, or what speed they were going. I don't know. That's what Chandler said. I mean, so why wouldn't he know? I don't know, because maybe. I'm sure he did. Right? Well, but, the, but if he, but then why didn't he get a ticket? Because or some or guys I, are nice. Even, some guys. a written warning. Because, like, he knows that, like, this guy's never done anything before. He's, and he no, just doesn't. No, but still, that's not, it's almost, it's almost unsafe how much he didn't do anything about it. That's fine. But I guess 120 isn't very hot. Yeah, 120 is not very fast. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got me. I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, my parents gave me a talk. Wait, what? <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing. <laughs> well, that's the point. They don't want me to do anything. Well, I mean, I... Brad came up to me to work, He's like, and he was like, oh, I heard you did something. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I have a child. I have, a, Yeah, I have three kids. Uh, oh, 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 you mean the ticket? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah, minor inconvenience. Yeah, it was... Yeah, because you are a minor. <laughs> Every minor is an inconvenience. <laughs> for real, for real. Uh, wait, did they, did they give you a talk because of me? They're like, yeah. I mean, no, no, be mostly because of someone else. Denver? <laughs> no, no, from Ohio. I don't even know who it is. Wait, he, what happened? Uh, he was coming home from what? snowmobiling. It was like during the winter. And it was icy. And he had two passengers with him, younger guys. And the Killed adult the was driving. And he hit ice. A dog was driving? The guy was driving. Oh. Hit ice, led to oncoming traffic, killed his two passengers. He survived. And now the state of... And like the family is not present charges. I mean, mm. they, they're from the church. <laughs> but the state of Ohio is coming after him. Because they think he might be, might have been going too fast for the road conditions, and that might be his fault. I mean, because he hit it's a an accident. Because I mean, he hit twice and then he lost control. And he has a trailer. We so, oh a trailer that changes everything. That so, does change everything. So my mom was just like, yeah. So if you like, so going the really state fast will and come you, after you and you hit someone, even if if no you go really fast, like just w just one thing to think about. If you are going, let's say you're speeding in a place where there's people that live there and a child rock walks out on the road and yeah, it, it, you get and you hit that child you're going to jail I that's like that's that's not second degree murder do a hit and run <laughs> uh, do not do that do not I repeat never do we that. will sue you that is we'll terrible. ban you that is bad it's awful is but that is like that's second degree murder you're going to jail for like 10 you're going plus to jail years. for manslaughter that's bad. Ah, bad, bad. Don't do that. I thought about, like I could have ruined my life already. Oh yeah, he's I mean, like I've I mean, I've gone ninety on a back road. Yeah. Kid lost his ball, goes on the road. He goes out and he looks at me, and then I what? He looks at me, and, and I, I look, look at, at him, him. <laughs> and then I hit him. <laughs> I mean, and like if it no witnesses. Yeah. Also, if there would have just been a random cop on that road. That's 90 over, 90 over. That's yeah, that's 90, 90 to 45. I'm going yeah. double the speed limit. Yeah, that's like, that's it's like, not so bad. Boom, Don't ever boom, do that either. Whack, whack. Go the speed slappy, limit. Slappy, slappy. I'm just a bad human. But I'm, didn't, I didn't take In my defense, there's no tracks around here to take my car. <laughs> we should make our own. We should. <laughs> Dude, the Scots have that little roundabout. Dude. <laughs> Wait, they do? Oh, yeah. I literally, did, I used that. I was like, I was like, we and wheat. Because I, I didn't know that they were home. And they were home. Beedo, beedo, beedo. Okay, we get It'll it. We pull get you it. over. So yeah, Nick got a ticket. El Bozo, how much uh, was the ticket? Did you get it yet? It's like uh, it's one hundred sixty-five dollars, I think, or one hundred fifty-five. The fine was thirty. No, the ticket was thirty-five dollars. The fine was one hundred twenty-five. That's why I don't like speeding on one sixty because twenty is scary. Twenty is scary, dude. What did uh freaking Cameron? He did one thirty-five. For like a good solid like ten miles on twenty. Yeah, that's funny. Dude, something I don't I don't think about the place. Like I always look at where cops can sit, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, there's like there's no place for cops sit. And I'm like, wait a minute, but they can just come in this way. And then um, I've had so many scenarios in my head where I'm like, okay, let's say there's a cop that does pass me, and then does a U-turn. What if I just continue going? Because I'm sorry, but there ain't no way 
unless they scan my plates. There ain't no way that they are going to be like catching, speeding up, catching up to me. Let's say randomly, don't do this ever. Bad advice, horrible advice, never do this. Awful, awful, bad, bad, you'll go to jail. But, um, but if, but if, <laughs> but like, let's say you're going like 120. This is your list flying. Like, there's no way you're like going super fast and then like turning off a back road. And then like, there's no, like they can't, like how? Well, okay, well, they usually in Ford Explorers. Yes. Wait, what, what stopped you? About Ford Explorers? No, it was a, uh, it was a uh, Durango, I think. Oh, Durango. Either way, they, I, those, didn't say, I didn't recognize those it at vehicles all. Vehicles aren't necessarily slow. I mean, not just the fastest. Yeah, but but no matter what vehicle you are, it's gonna take you a while to speed up. Yeah, I know. And, but and I have no call for backup. And, but's backup, like how far away is backup gonna be? It's gonna be quite far away. Like uh, you'll never know. Like let's say let's say I'm I pass a cop, and then let's say okay, he recognizes that I was going fast. He puts it in drive. He slams on the accelerator, turns on his lights. By that time, I'm probably at least a half mile down the road and then he starts accelerating he has a zero to 60 of probably around eight seconds and so let's just say we'll just it's not how this works but what says we'll double that so let's say 16 seconds to get to what my speed is no it's probably more like 30 seconds close um to get to what my speed is and then by that time i'll be even farther away from him by the time he calls backup there's no way that that's gonna like the chances of it being right there. You're like very like right where I would be going is very slim, and then I could just turn off a back road and then turn and just keep on like zigzagging. I think you're underestimating cops, but I do believe I definitely you, am because I think like it would be, especially yeah. Let's he does a U-turn, you immediately turn on to well, I, well yeah, you, you turn you, on you to a back road yeah, and then you just because I, th I, th I thought the same thing, and you just, like fly through there. Then make another turn if you can, and then go into someone's lane, shut up all your lights, and then just sit there. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to be looking at people's lanes. Yeah. And if, especially if it's dark out, I don't think they could. I think if... But also, one thing that is, like, there is a ton of... What would probably get you, like, they may, you maybe would get them for that night, but definitely, like, a camera somewhere would grab your plate. Not around here. Not around Chip Chihuahua. There's no cameras anywhere. Go, no, Middle Bear, maybe the, maybe the 13 and 20, Middle Bear and Goshen. But if you're in Shipshuana, there's no, I don't think there's anything anywhere. Yeah, but in the, in most, in most places, like yeah. a camera would slap you real fast. Yeah. But like, yeah, that would probably be like the only thing that would really be like a challenge or that could really mess you up. But like, and then also like, uh, you know, Stephen Graham, he's like a, he's like a philanthropist. Not really. He um he just maybe, makes, makes online videos, videos, but like he like he was like he was like eighteen nineteen and he had like he 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 made his money like decently young, and so he had he had like a charger or something like that, and he like he got he he tried to run from a cop, and then he, like he ran and then he turned down some alleyways and then he turned and went went and then eventually he just like and then he's like he thought he lost them and then all of a sudden like 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 three cops came out like right behind him. And then, like, he just immediately, like, gave up. because like, no way I'm getting away from these guys. And that's just one example of people thinking when he can, like, oh, I can't get away from these guys. I think I can, but I can't. So I'd probably just obey the law. That's probably the best yeah, thing so to don't do. Don't do that ever. Just obey the law. That might Plus, be I mean, you run for the cop. That's you, it's just going to That's going to get worse. Yikes. I know a guy who assaulted a police officer with a screwdriver. I now know he's him in jail. Too. Is he still How long is he in jail yet? That was a while. I mean, it's like three more years. I think assault is like eight years, I think. Something like that. It's all the police officer that way. But I was thinking he was on meth. It was a joke. And then the screwdriver. Oh my god. If it was a if, now, if it was a pointy screwdriver, it'd be something else. <laughs> I don't know what they go off of on that. Like, do they do they just uh, do all assault charges the same, or do they do like how much damage was done to the officer? I think a lot of it is. I think I think if it's just like. Maybe punching them or throwing something at them. It's not. But I think it's different when you get into a knife or a weapon or a gun. Well, when I get into a knife, um, I, <laughs> I drive it very fast. Hey, yo. <laughs> the woman wrote me what? I don't get it. Um, what? What's happening? What's going on? Glass. That's glorious. Quapa da pa da pa da pa da pa da pa. That doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> What? Whatever you just said. What did I say? What? Okay. Let's say you had your cool, I don't know, Civic or something. 
Um, and my Ford Focus RS. Your Ford Focus ah, RS. Ah, yay! Um, I found a really nice one on Facebook Marketplace. Are cheap. you gonna get it? No, because I don't have any money. Ah. Well, just get it anyways. Okay. Payment. Would you run from the cops theoretically? If you if you knew if you knew that when like if you knew that when you get caught, it'd only be two thousand dollars. That's all. That no punishment. Just be, you get paid two thousand dollars. No, I no, because that's gonna go on my record for running away from the cops. Ah, just no. I no. Maybe if I had no. no I'm Maybe if I had a bazooka. If I had my uh, my Mustang Mach One. You. No, I wouldn't. That's not even stupid. Mm, and not GT Devlin. Fastback 500. Not Razor even your bag, dude. The dragon. G- Wait, what? The Ender Dragon. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. So, DJ, I finished school in two weeks. Oh, I do not. I have. I think I have. Three weeks left of regular school, and then I have twelfth grade to plow through, which only which should take me about I estimate a month or two. It's gonna be a decent amount of work, though. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're finishing up, doing two years after you finish the next year. It's not even like doing two years in one. It's just doing one year and then doing another year. DJ broke a shirt. Why is this? Why is, what is this? ASMR. Dang it, I was close. Ah, oh, you got me. Well, I guess that will wrap it up. We'll just have a shorter one this week. Thank you for listening to the Lumberjobs Podcast. We're going to put a Patreon out. Well, we have, well, we have, this is videoed. So go to patreon.com slash Lumberjobs Podcast, get the video. We, and they get two Patreons this week. And we're going to do an actual Patreon. And we're going to do an actual Patreon. It's going to be cool. Actually, like patreon.com slash Lumberjobs Podcast. I don't know. You get, I want you this. get, I think it's like, I, have some. I think you're getting like six, Thank you. six extra lemon drops things a month. It's That's pretty also good because we're kind of like sl- no podcasts. Podcasts. That's cool. cool. We're cool. So that's 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 good. How much would you give me if I chugged this? Nothing. I, you owe me six bucks. <laughs> Two bucks more than you paid for it. Like- yeah, I want it. I have to dr- go drive back and get more. Yeah, bought two of them. Um, thank you, and welcome back to the Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Lemon Podcast. Been the Lemon Podcast. TTFN Tater Tater Hot or now. <laughs>